Hi everyone. So today we are talking about the Celtic people, Druids, Celtic mythology, Celtic religion. We're just really deep diving into it today because if you have been here earlier this year, then you will have seen that video I made where I did a vlog, I think, where I went to Barnes & Noble and I realized that I don't understand a lot about Celtic and Nordic mythology. And then I realized that I actually like Celtic mythology a lot more. And there's a lot I don't understand. There's a lot I still don't know yet. So I decided, well, I need to get more into it. So of course I got some new books dedicated to the topics of Celtic mythology, more stuff about druids, runestones, books like that. So today let's just get into the books I recommend if you want to learn more about Celtic mythology and other topics. So first of all, Celtic myth and religion, a study of traditional belief with newly translated prayers, poems, and songs. I thankfully got this book as a gift from a subscriber, so thank you so much for using my Amazon wishlist. But basically, this book is really, really important for learning Celtic myth and religion. For a while, I was confusing the Celtic people with the Nordic people. Those are two separate things. I don't know why I confused it so bad. However, this book does a really great job at explaining not only myths, but also religion and so, so much more about how these ancient people functioned in their society, what they believed in, how they managed their beliefs, how they performed their practices. It's a really, really great book. And so is Tree Magic, The Path of Druids. I decided that I really needed to get this book, which I actually got it from a subscriber. Thank you so much. I had it on my wish list because it just seemed like the perfect book to read about learning more about tree magic because in case you didn't know already, trees are really, really appreciated among druids and pretty much anybody in Celtic mythology, Celtic religion. So if you want to learn more about trees and the magic around them on how to become more, I guess, like appreciative of their nature and existence, then of course this is a really great book to get. But moving on, Modern Witchcraft Guide to Runes. I got this book because it's really hard to find a book that mentions like Celtic runes. It's like so difficult because every rune book I have like seen so far just focuses on Nordic runes. And that's cool and all, but when you're focusing on Celtic religion or Celtic mythology, you really just want to see the Celtic runes. And this book thankfully does mention them. Obviously it mentions Nordic runes as well, of course. But I thought this would be a really great book to mention because this book will actually teach you how to use runes. Like, it doesn't just talk about them. It explains how you could practice rune magic. But I also recommend The Hidden Life of Trees because, yeah, trees are cool and, you know, they're so wise. We appreciate them because of nature, but reading this book will truly help you see why we should appreciate them more. Like, trees feel they communicate to each other, the way they interact with the environment. Like, it's insane because they can't walk, they can't move, they're just kind of stuck to the ground, and yet they literally are so important to everybody. And we don't even really realize it half the time. Like, we need trees. I also recommend the book Druids, A Very Short Introduction. A lot of history regarding Druids and Celtic people was lost because I feel like when the Christians took over a lot of, like, information about other religions went missing, which I feel like that was on purpose because if there's no history for people, then there's no future either. So once the history of, like, the Druids got erased and Celtic people, their future also vanished with them. However, we do have information still on Druids, thankfully, and this is a really great book if you want to just learn about Druids. But if you want to learn Celtic myths and tales, then you need to check out Epic Tales, Celtic Myths and Tales, of course. I got this at Barnes Noble on sale for like $10. It might have been $12, but either way, amazing book. It is a very thick book full of different stories, 
and some history about Celtic people and their myths and legends. It's a very intriguing book. It has a lot of stories that I never even heard before, so I think it's really, really amazing. However, I think the best book on this list that I'm showing you today is the Book of Celtic Myths. This book, I learned so much from. Like, my understanding of Celtic mythology, Celtic religion, everything Celtic has just, like, improved, like, a thousand times more because of this book. I love this book. I was so intrigued. I finished reading it in a in literally a few hours. Like, I, I was so fascinated. This is probably the best book on the list, actually. You know, I was so confused over Nordic mythology and Celtic mythology. At some point, I thought it was the same thing, but the best way I could phrase it is, if you want to think Druid, think of Celtic mythology. If you want to think Viking, think Nordic mythology. That's the best way I could really phrase it. And personally, I enjoy reading about Druids more than I enjoy reading about Vikings. I actually never was really intrigued about Vikings. I don't know why it took me so long to realize this. But this book about Celtic myths, stunning. I love this book. However, if you want to know, like, the history rather than mythology, then get the Celts, a very short introduction. In case you didn't know, the Celts were alive around the same time the ancient Romans were, I believe. So this, like, book basically explains, like, their interactions with the Romans. There was, like, a war or something. Yeah, I'm not really invested in history. Like, I really do care a lot more about mythology. But this is still a really interesting read. Like, I'm not even joking. The Book of Celtic Myths. This book is perfect. I love it. I really, really do. It just mentions everything in the most intriguing way. It's so great. Like, it explains things without going too deep. Like, I hate when books get too detailed sometimes because then it's like, it feels like a, a research study instead of like a mythology book. But this one, it does a great job at keeping things interesting, intriguing. It's organized very well. It has a lot of great, like, information. The Celtic Myths and Tales, this one's also really good. The Celtic Myths and Tales, this is very much a storybook. Like, it explains the history first. When it explains the stories, it's like a, like a novel kind of for each, it's like a short novel, I guess, for each tale or story. Like a short story, I guess. I don't know. Which I'm not really the biggest fan of because I feel like some translations are very inaccurate. However, the Book of Celtic Myths does it really perfectly. It's not a storybook. It just explains the information that we have on the topic. Straight to the point. Very intriguing. They're both really good. I'm just not a fan of storybooks for mythology. So, because of my biased opinion, the Book of Celtic Myths is the best. But that is pretty much all for today.